When young Sidney Crosby, straight out of Cole Harbor, Nova Scotia, was drafted to the Penguins first overall in 2005, it gave the organization win back in their sales. And sales. And throughout the draft process, it was well known that he was a Montreal Canadian fan while growing up, shooting pucks into his dryer. So, when his first season came around, the first Penguins versus Canadians was an immediate circle on the hockey calendar. Maybe you don't circle games for every rookie each year, but for some like me, growing up in Dartmouth, a town neighboring Cole Harbor, it's all everyone was talking about. In the 2005-2006 season, the Penguins started 5-7-5. Meanwhile, the Habs absolutely ripped it up, 12-3-2, leading to a classic game. And of course, the man of the video would start things off scoring on the power play, assisted by Gonchar and Zygmunt Palfi. Then, before the period is through, Mario Lemieux, yep, player owner Mario Lemieux, gets on the board with his 7th of the season, 2-0 pens heading into the second. That's where Montreal would grab a power play themselves halfway through the frame and get back on board with a shot from Craig Reve. And and Chris Higgins would even things up with less than five minutes in the third. Then the dramatics happened. After OT solved nothing, we headed to a shootout, which isn't too exciting nowadays, but in 05, the novelty was new. The shootout was just started and it was the hottest things. After no goals from Mark Recchi and Mario Lemieux for the Pens and none from Michael Ryder or Alex Kovala for the Habs, Crosby went up. If you're a hockey fan, you remember this goal. He grabs the puck, streaks through the middle, leg kick, deke, backhand upstairs, the bottle goes flying. Habs would miss on their final shot, Crosby wins it, instant classics, one of my favorite Sidney Crosby moments from early in his career.